Hi everyone! So today I thought I would do a what's in my handbag video. I love watching these on YouTube. It's just so nice to get different ideas about like iPad cases and purses and just those silly little things that you carry around with you and it's just nice having a rake and seeing what's in other people's bags so I thought that I would give this a go. So the bag that I have here is from Urban Outfitters. I got it in July last year I think. I was in Edinburgh when I got it. Um, I'll pop a link in the bar below if I find it but I don't think people actually have it anymore. Um, it's nice and spacious. It's a good kind of size. I mean I carry different handbags all the time but this is probably my go-to bag because I mean you get a lot in there. Like I've packed it full. So yeah. The first thing I have is my glasses. Um, They've got a bit chewed by the dog. But um, yeah, these are Ray-Bans. They are prescription. A bit messy. Um, so yeah, these are them there. I don't really wear these very often, but I do like just have them with me just in case. The next thing I have in here is a book. The one I have is Daughter by Jane Schumilt. I don't know if that's actually how you say the name. And I haven't started reading this yet but I think I saw it on Lily Pebbles and she recommended this book so I thought I would give it a go. I mean I'm watching The Missing right now and I actually love that so I thought I wanted something with kind of like a similar genre so yeah I'll tell you how I like this. I always like to carry a book with me because I take lots of bus journeys. I can read for about an hour on the bus there, an hour on the back so I'm always like halfway through a book in one day. I get through them so quickly. The next thing I have is my file of facts. I carry this mainly around for uni and sometimes work, but I work the same shift so I don't really need it. Um, this is just a pretty basic one. It's quite small. I prefer them to be small because they're more compact and they fit in like any bag. I actually went looking for this one specifically and I found it in WH Smith and it was actually only 9.50. So I think it was a bit of a bargain. I think it was on sale at the time. The pen that I've got with it is from Paper Chase. I love their pens. For uni I always buy them. They have such cute designs on them. This ones have little owls on them. They're really cute and they're so good. Like I'm quite a messy writer so I like to have really thin pens and these ones are just perfect. So if you're like anything like me I would totally recommend these. They are so good. The next thing I have is quite an obvious thing. It's my iPhone. This one's an iPhone 5. I've had this one for almost two years now so I am doing upgrades soon. Um, yeah, the case is from New Look. It's also a bit old. It's kind of scuffed now, but I don't really see the point in buying a new one if I'm just going to get a new phone in the next few months. So, yeah, everyone knows what an iPhone 5 looks like. So, yeah. The next thing I have is this purse. Um, I was looking for a purse while I was on holiday this year in New York, and I went to Nordstrom Rack, and this was actually on sale, and it was actually my friend who picked it up for me and oh I just fell in love with it the second I saw it. It's from the brand Hobo. I've never even heard of this brand in the UK before so I don't even know if you get it here but it's just such a nice purse. It's like brown leather. It's so spacious. I have so much room for everything in here. I love the design inside as well. It's got such nice colours. But yeah it holds so many cards. It has pockets in the two pockets here, another pocket here and then it's got a zip for all my money in the back and I just absolutely love it. It's so nice. Like it's exactly what I wanted. It was like if I could have pictured it in my mind then that's what I would have went for. It was, I was so happy with it and I think it was on sale down from $108 to $56 so it's perfect. I'm so happy I managed to get this. The next thing I have is my iPad. This is the new iPad Air 2. I actually just got this last week and so far I'm really liking it. I much prefer it. Like I had the iPad 2 before and it broke down but this one is just so much sleeker, so much more light and compact and it's just so much better. It looks so much nicer in general. I would totally recommend getting these. I just think the iPads are the better of all the tablets are just so much easier. Okay, the next thing I have in my bag is hand cream. This one's almost finished with. I think I'll have to actually throw this in the bin soon. It's from Bath and Body Works and it's the Caribbean Escape Nourishing Hand Cream. 
this is actually I think the nicest hand cream I've ever had it's got such a nice smell and I always get compliments about it after I've used it like it's got like a beachy like suntan kind of smell to it I can't really describe it but uh, if you're in any, ever in Bath and Body Works I would totally go and get this I actually need to go and get another one I think I'll have a look on eBay because it's just the best hand cream I've ever used before the next thing I have in my bag is the Body Shop Lip and Cheek Doll. I think this is actually quite new. Um, I really like lip and cheek stains because with my pale skin I really like things that are kind of pinky red that isn't too out there but it's quite natural. Um, it, I like that this comes in a wand like this. It's so much easier to apply. Like I have the Benefit um, Lolly Tint and I do like I do like it but the fact that it's in a brush it can be a little bit messy but this is so much easier to apply and it looks really nice on. It is a tiny bit drying on the lips but I, I do prefer it I think. So yeah. The next thing I have is this YSL compressed powder. It's the Eclat Natural Semi Loose Powder. Um, I don't actually, this is in shade I actually don't know what shade this is in. It's the pink beige one. I got this so long ago. I think it was like two years ago. I know you're not actually supposed to keep powders that long, but I haven't used I it. I really like this one because it comes with a small brush, so it's really good to have with you on the go. And all you do is you just twist in here and powder comes out. So it's not loose, so it's not going to go everywhere if it opens up accidentally, which is really good. Um, it's not one of those newer pressed powders it is loose obviously um, and it's not as glowing and natural looking but it is good just for on the go if you're getting a bit oily which I do um, just to have this with you so yeah I would recommend headphones for my phone just to listen to some music on the go um, I have cinnamon jolly ranchers I actually love these sweets I just I love the smell of cinnamon in general. I think that it's just such a good smell. It just reminds me of Christmas and I was just recently really, really in the mood for these. They're so good. I think that's my favourite sweet. I have some extra power pain relief. Just self explanatory for headaches. Get them where I don't wear my glasses, <laughs> which I really should. Um, I also have some Dazzling Diamond Antibacterial Hand Gel. This is again from Bath & Body Works. They have such good deals on these. I think it was like five for ten dollars. I'm probably completely wrong, but they just smell amazing. I have the the green one. I think it's like martini or something like that. This one has quite a sweet smell. I can't really describe it. It's like I don't know. I can't describe it at all. It's just it's really handy to have this with you, like. Obviously I go on buses quite a lot, so I like to use this before and after I go on the bus. I know it's probably really anal, but yeah, just always handy to have with you, I think. The next thing I have is one of these Travalo perfume containers. In this one I have Chanel number no. 5, I think. It's the green one, so it's not actually Chanel number no. 5, it's the, they come in three different versions, I think. Um, it's a much more subtle smell, but I feel like it is quite like grown up if that makes sense it's it's a really nice smell but it's not overpowering I would it's such a nice perfume I really really like it. I got it for my birthday my 21st birthday and I just I'm in love with it it's so nice the final thing I have in my bag is the Clinique repair wear intensive lip treatment I'm actually almost done this but it's such a nice lip balm actually it's on there it's just so creamy and thick and it lasts a really long time well I use it all the time anyway so maybe not a really long time but I've had this since June and it's just finishing now it is a little bit pricey I think this one was like $25 I bought it when I was in the States if you're looking for something that's gonna totally hydrate your lips this is definitely the one I go for I always have this one at hand because I do get dry lips especially in the winter and this one totally just fixes it for me so yeah, I totally recommend that. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any requests, please let me know. Um, so yeah, bye.